A city of 18.7 million inhabitants. Over half a million food stalls are spread throughout the town. Over 20 million samosas are fried here every day. Over 10 million tally dishes are served here every lunch. I'm in Mumbai. Where do you start? I think I'll go that way. Or maybe I'll go... I'll go the Indian way. That way. Mumbai reflects the Indian kitchen quite accurately. It's rapid, it's colorful, and it's full of spice. That's why India's second name is the land of spices. Here, spices are not a supplement, but the basis of cooking itself. I have 24 hours to taste 22,000 different dishes this city has to offer. So let's get started. It is very early in the morning, but the stars here in Mumbai are already at full steam. The most popular breakfast here is masala dosa. I'm curious to see how spicy breakfast can be. Do you eat masala dosa yeah. every morning? Yeah. Yeah? Are you married long? Yeah. Yes? And you hold her plate like that every yeah. morning? No, no, no. no, just here in the street. Once in a year. Once in a year. Well, that's love for you. Hello. Hello, yes. Dosa. Dosa. We have... What is it made of, actually? It's made of uh, fermented uh, rice and uh, black lentils. I think I could come inside a moment. Sure, you can. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What you see here is a batter. The batter that is made out of rice and black lentils. So it's like a crepe. Uh, you yeah, sure, sure, yes, is yes. It? This is called actually masala dosa. This and, is uh, the masala dosa? Uh, yeah, it's made out of uh, potatoes and onions. And that goes into that little pancake. Yeah. All right, we have the original, yeah. the original masala, masala dosa yes. coming up. Okay. It's our pleasure. Mm. Really nice. I just want to, I want to munch and munch. I read that somewhere actually in the 19th century, yeah. They used to serve it separately. The, the dosa was separate, yes, and the yes, masala yes. was separate. Oh, but yes, then yes, yes. They, they didn't have any potatoes, yeah. so they had to put onions in. Very good. Yes, and because sir, yes. many people don't eat onions here in yes, India, sir. is that true? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's, it's a true, true story. Yes. So they rolled it up in the dosa in order to hide it from the people, so they won't know that they're having onions instead of potatoes. Yeah. It's very clever, yeah. isn't it? Can I make one dosa? Sure, yes. Yeah. All right. That much? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. no problem. Okay. Just, just go on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or, or, I mean, one, one small, one small. I think oh, the more. matter is, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, now let's try it. Okay. Now we do yes, have yes, this yes, thing yes. here. Not a bad one. No. For first time. Okay, now I put on the masala? Yes. All right. Yeah. Here goes the masala. Yes. How onions. am I doing? Okay. Yeah, fine. Some onions. Some tomatoes yeah. and beetroot, some spices. Ah, uh, that's enough. All right. Gosh, I'm very proud of that. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Sure, you should be very proud of yourself. And who will be the lucky guy to have my first masada? I'm a beginner, so this is my first time. Tell me how it came out, all right? Bon appetit. All right, I'm standing to the test. Yeah. Fine, okay. Uh, acha means good. Acha, acha. Acha, good. Acha, acha. Good, that means good. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, uh, thank you very much for talking to me. I've got a lot more to taste, so I'm on my way. Okay, sure. All right, bye-bye. wish you all the best. Thank you. Finished off my breakfast. What I need now is a nice cup of coffee. Now you can find anything in the streets of Mumbai, am I right? Yes. Yes. But a nice cup of coffee here 
Tea is the king, or to be more precise, the chai masala, which is a recipe that goes back 5,000 years. Where can, I, where can I find some good chai masala, my friend? It's a good question. Hello. Hi. There is a rumor here in the streets of Mumbai yes. that here I can find one of the best chais in the town. Yes, yes. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. All right, then yeah. give me a glass of your best chai, please. Okay. Oh, thank you, you very it. much. Uh, cheers. How do you say cheers? Cheers. Uh, cheers. You say cheers. 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 Yeah. So that's what I said. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, all right. Cool. Then cheers then. Ah, oh, it's so nice and full of taste and flavor. How do you make chai masala? Yeah, we put sugar, water. Give it the milk. We'll put some ginger. So masala is spices, right? Yeah, you make like the paste of that and we put it in the tea. Could I go inside? Yeah, and see? you can help you inside. All right, let's go inside then. Under here, there's a milk. Ah, oh, this is okay. Got a hot pot of milk, of milk here that's constantly heated. We make a tea. We put out the milk. So you make regular black tea. What they call in India? This is a chai patti. This Best is a tea. Yeah, this is a tea. Patti. Yeah. You can so you put some it. of this in here. Yeah, and it's we put. Yeah. And just make it curds on it. You put boil sugar. it. Sugar. How much sugar? Sugar. Is it, and do you take it sweet? Yeah, it's make us tasty. Specialist. Okay. And for the spicy, <laughs> we keep the ginger. What else? What else? Only has this, and we have to make our special hot. Tea so it's, only, it's just ginger? Yeah, just a ginger. So it's basically tea with ginger? Yeah. Then why is it called masala then? Only it's for this, this is the, the masala. masala. Yeah. Ginger is the secret. Yeah. Now where can I find a good espresso here, do you think? No, what do you like to have? Coffee. Special coffee, you have to check out. An espresso, not special, espresso coffee. Espresso coffee. No, espresso. Espresso coffee. Espresso coffee. You ever hear of espresso? No, right, we have not heard about that. Oh, special, really? we go on the tea. You go on the tea? Yeah. No all right, coffee. all right. Well, um, no problem, I'll manage without my espresso then. Ah! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, it's noon, it's lunch time, which means it's tally time. Now I'm meeting Vicky Ritnani, one of the best chefs in Mumbai, and also my Indian connection, and he promised to take me to his personal favorite tally place. Vicky! Hey, what's up, hey. man? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, how are you? Good, so how's Bombay training you, all oh, good? Bombay is... You know, <laughs> amazing, amazing. Awesome. So this is the place you would shop? Yes, and I actually come here to relax. Really? And, <laughs> and get inspired. It's because all these spices, nuts, it gives me a lot of inspiration. Uh, and what are these coconut? This, uh, just... this is a, this is called copra, it's dried coconut. We shave it really thin and we put it on top of a salad as well. So sometimes. you take the coconut and actually ch transform it into a spice. Absolutely. What it's, are these? It's, it's, these are uh, chilies. They look like berries, you know. They I are could like just, berries. I'd like oh. pop them down. Uh, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's our next stop then? Are you hungry? You want to eat I'm something? I am very hungry. So and I'm looking forward to that thali you promised. Yeah, the thali is the, the most iconic meal which you have to try actually. And you're going to be stuffed today. You'll feel like, like an Indian prince when you eat that. Okay, <laughs> I can't wait. That's the place. Here? Yeah. yeah, right here. What, you mean between the trousers and the, and the women's bags? Yeah, right in the middle. Okay. After you. Thank you, sir. They're all waiting here for you, actually. Really? They all what knew you were coming. So here. royal. <laughs> I know you shouldn't have. Really, it's uh, <laughs> it's okay. Hello. Hi. This is a thali. Okay. Thali translates into plate. These are called katoris. Okay? Katoris. Katori. But uh, you know, I've never seen this kind of uh, cutlery. Or this, this, the, what, what is this material? Uh, it's a gun metal. This is a metal which is used in all the temples, all the bells and everything yes, is made yes. of this. According to metallurgy. This adds some therapeutic value to the food. So what else do we have here? This uh, restaurant has a policy. You 
can go into the kitchen if the, you like. The policy is that you can go. Yes, you can go and it's a part of the meal experience. Well, if that's the policy, then, you know. This restaurant changes their menu every day. Really? So they do about 22,600 dishes. How many? 22,000? At least 22,000 dishes in their, in their menu database. That is unbelievable. Yeah. And everybody works in an assembly line. Yes. They cater to about five, six hundred meals every day. And here are all the and spices. Look, this, this is called the masala trolley. Okay. Uh -huh. now Do you this... think it's in their policy that maybe I could take this trolley home with me? Oh, uh, if you can but... carry it back, sure, oh, you can take it. I'd no love it if I had this trolley at home. Look at all these spices. Yeah. Wow. What do we have here then? A banana leaf. This is the cabbage. Yeah. And this, this is the green chutney. The green chutney. That's the sweet chutney. The sweet the chutney. Mango pickle. Okay, it's it's a little spicy, but it's really good. These are just the sauces. This is like a little appetizer which you start to with. open up. Yeah. Yep. All right. Bon appetit. Bon Enjoy. Up. Uh, hey, thank you. Wow, this this bread is uh, it's very uh, airy. It's very uh, large. Yeah. yeah, it's not yeah. heavy at all. This is like cottage cheese balls. Covered in... Um... It's a very rich nut beer sauce. Mm -hmm. This is a fruit salad. It's not like dessert is at the end of it. Mm -hmm. They believe it, you can eat dessert all the time. Do you hear that, kids? You don't have to wait till the end of the meal for your dessert. Wow. No, you know, this... you can... How about you leave this here and, uh, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll... Well, okay. We'll... This is something like a, a, a chat. It's like a snack. Chat. chat means to lick. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. That's chat. Hmm. So many different tastes. Most of the dishes come around the different regions of India. So there are things here that are from the north and some from the south. And from, from the west as well. And from the west. Gosh, it just keeps coming and coming and coming. That's and we're gonna have to eat all of this. You have to eat and it's I a problem, you, isn't it? If you don't say stop, they will Punjabi go and give you. Oh my Punjabi God, it's terrible. I'm telling you, it's terrible, but it's a tough job and, it's, and it's, somebody it's has to do it. It's terribly good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine uh, your kitchen without spices? Absolutely not. Each spice adds a new dimension and actually a new layer of flavor. Before we depart, mm -hmm. I want to um, shoot a short uh, segment for my personal blog. Could you help us for a moment? Just see us here in the screen, it's working. And I want to thank my good friend Vic here for an unbelievable traditional Indian experience. Namaste, Namaste. and thank you. Now here is this pan thing that I haven't yet understood what this is exactly. If it's street food, if it's a snack, if it's a cigar. What is he putting on there? Green patti. Hari patti bolta hai. Hari patti. Hari patti. Hari patti bolta hai. What do you mean? Hari patti. Hari patti. Katta. Katta. Supari. Supari. Supari pakka kaccha. Pakka kaccha. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. Eating. One more, one more. Yes, you hold this. Okay. Tobacco? Little bit tobacco. Very small one, meat tobacco. Thoda tambaku dan. A bit of tobacco. Is it a snack? No, no, this is not a snack. Then what is it? Eat it for the pan. Oh, okay. In the mouth? Yeah. Show me. Yeah. You go. You, you first. That's what we want to do. No problem. Tambaku dan this. Okay. All in once. Yeah, all in once. All in once. Okay. One pan going down. Well, they say that the biggest Indian invention, well, after chess and maybe the Kama Sutra, is Wada Pao. It's a food you can find only in Mumbai, and if you do not have it, it means bad karma. Now, I am definitely not going to mess with my karma. Hello, can I have some Wada Pao? Wada Pao. 
Ah, thank you very much. Wala pao, it's a bun. Wala pao. With uh, with what? What's what is this? This is bara, and uh, inside is Chops. mashed potato. Mashed, mashed potato potatoes? with the with the with the Indian spice, the the fried one. It's All right. Inside. Okay. Do you like this? Yes. Here you go. Cheers. Yes. All right. Do you like it? Very good. Do you like it, Orama? Yeah. Only in Mumbai, right? Yeah. Okay. So how about we all say together? Vada Vada Oh, could you teach me? Oh, oh. 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 One of the old digital ways, 100 uh, grams of peanuts. Thank you, sir. Oh my God! See that view? Unbelievable. It's 8 and 12 minutes, it's dinner time, so let's talk a little bit about chicken tikka. This dish is so popular that the British Parliament had to stop everything it was doing in order to dispute who are the real inventors. Is it the British, the Indians, or maybe even the Scots? Now you'll be surprised to discover that they did not reach an agreement until this very day. And yet, this fact doesn't seem to bother anyone here in Mumbai. All right, I think this is the place. But in here, I walked Hello. quite a distance to, to come to this place. I heard about your chicken tikka. So how long have you been in this business? Years. 70 years. Yeah. The same chicken the tikka stand. Yeah. Chicken tikka, is it an Indian invention? Yeah. Because I know there's, there's been a dispute with the British that maybe they say that they invented the chicken tikka? What we Indians very strongly believe is this is very Indian. And who cares at the end of the day as long as it's tasty, right? Of course. Of course. It's all about where food is meant to be shared. Exactly. Do you think I could maybe come around? Sure, sure. All right, great. You're welcome, sir. It's nice and chilly here, isn't it? Chilly. So what do we have here? What we have? Chicken tikka. This is the chicken tikka. Why is it called chicken tikka then? The term tikka is known for the cut. This cut basically of small right. boneless chicken pieces is called tikka. Tikka is the cut? Wait, isn't tikka tikka? No, no, no. That, that is chicken tikka. Tikka. Oh, that's tikka is the tikka and this is tikka. Typical Hindu culture. You get that? This is tikka and this is the tikka. Because I thought, you know, the tikka is red and the chicken's red, so. I assume chicken tikka is chicken, chicken tikka. Chicken, chicken. Uh, yes? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he agrees with me. Is it marinated in a sauce before it's grilled? Yes. Can I well, see uh, the chicken tikka before it was done? Yes, yeah, sure. What does it look like? The chicken tikka that's uh, being... Uh, All right, over here. What's it made of, this uh, this marinade? It, it, it's, it's a marriage of a variety of spices. The whole spices and the marinations are well guarded. A secret recipe that has been ah, in the family as well. I so see, it's a secret basically recipe. Basically, the whole but marination... Just tell me one thing. How long does it lie in the marinade? Six hours. At least to just kept away right, in the so refrigerator. Maybe a whole night in the fridge, in the marinade. Yes, overnight. All right. I love your hat, by the way. Really. Do you want to change? Here you go. Ah, now you look good. And I'll put on this. I'll tell you what, I'll go outside, yeah. maybe sit down, 
and I'll wait for my chicken tikka. Sure, sure. Great. Ah, we have is basically chicken reshmi tikka, which is in the green marination. All right. And we have the classic chicken tikka in the red marination, chicken cream tikka, which is in the white marination with lemon accompanied by some onions. All right. And we have two chutneys over here. And I think I'm ready to taste it. So here we go. Mm. Fabulous. All right, Sandy, my friend, this is great. Do you ever get that feeling after dinner that you're still hungry and you, like, need another snack? Well, here in Mumbai, it's never too late for a midnight snack. What do you have here? Oh, thank you very much. Oh. This is bell puri. Bell puri? Yeah. Oh, that's the puri. And this is the bell. The bell is inside. What does it consist of? What does it consist of onion? and uh, other uh, leaf, like a coromandum leaf, uh -huh. and uh, peanuts. The peanuts? Peanuts. It's a mix. It's a very popular snack here out All in right. the evening. Is it spicy? It's a bit spicy. So I use this uh, like, as a yeah. spoon or something? So, serve with that and have it. It's a very good snack. Ah, okay. Yeah. To your health. Cheers. How do you feel? Good. It's good, yeah. It's tasty. good. It's tasty. tasty, yes. Yes. It's nice. It's crispy. It's a very popular snack in the evenings and all out here. Mm. You know, I see so many people eating in the streets. Yes. Do people eat at home? At home? Definitely. Eating at home is like a festival that it will be there. But still, eating at a street, after a hard day's work is over, you need to have a snack, you have a brunch. Uh -huh. How do you say in Hindi, bon appetit? Good appetite. Good appetite. Good appetite. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.